Well, can you tell me exactly what's happened? Overturned dumper truck. We're moving the dumper truck now with the digger. So did it fall on top of them? It fell on top of them. You are his injuries at the moment. Very, very crushed leg. Crushed leg. Curse Fairns in the middle of nowhere. Curse Fairn. it, That's a huge transfer, and I think it's right to send Helimeda for miles and miles away, and he has the potential to deteriorate. Both Glasgow-based trauma teams covering the south and west of Scotland are busy on other jobs. We, we just don't have any sort of trauma teams or advanced paramedics left in the west. Can't keep up. I can't keep up. There's a lot going on. Camera helmet five, that's us landed back at the QE. Is the team ready? Are they ready to go with them? No, I think no. Neil's still in the department. Right. Oh, hi, mate. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to task you. To Curse Fairn, which is just outside of air. Even by air, the specialist trauma team are a 20 minute flight away. So, crushed by a digger probably doesn't engender happy minor injuries. You think several tons of agricultural equipment on top of a person that's not compatible with life. They've just arrived on scene. The ambulance crew is already on scene, and a digger has been used to lift the dumper truck off the injured man. What's this gentleman's name? Is it Max? Uh, no. Max, my name's Neil. I'm one of the doctors with the ambulance yeah. service. OK, and pain score now after 20 of morphine. This gentleman's femur fracture was obvious from, from looking at it. The only way his leg could have got into that shape and position is if the femur's no longer intact in at least one place. Max, can you feel me touching your foot? Yeah. Do you remember everything that happened? Yes. Yeah. It's of no surprise to you that you've got an injury to your leg there and it's damaged <laughs> the bone. A couple of things that we need to do to protect the bone and the blood supply right. to it is to straighten it. Right. So what we will do is we'll give you some different medicine through the drip that will make you sleepy um, and get your leg straight. I'm also going to tr uh, numb the nerve to your thigh with a local anaesthetic injection. Uh, are you the other half? Yes. So the most important thing is to get this leg straight and stop some of this bleeding. Okay. You, you think the worst because you don't you don't really know what to expect. Is he going to be able to walk again? What's going to happen to the business? And the kids, how are the kids going to react to it? I don't know. I think I was just trying to calm him and tell him that it was all going to be OK. Neil uses an ultrasound to scan for hidden injuries and to identify any internal bleeding the dumper truck crush has caused. So we can search for evidence of bleeding um, and we can identify blood vessels. That entire leg may be deprived of blood supply and ultimately the patient could lose their leg or even their life. Can I get the drug bag over, please? Yeah. We carry drugs that paramedics don't, and we can use that as part of our toolkit to manage those patients and their injuries. Max, yeah. I'm going to do this injection in your top of your thigh where my, my left hand is. It might yeah. feel a bit warm, it might feel a bit stingy. That's local anaesthetic. One of the treatments of a femoral fracture is to block the femoral nerve and, and stop pain. That's the first bit done. That feel OK? Yeah. Along with the nerve block, Neil prepares to give Max ketamine. Pre-hospital sedation has a number of benefits. It allows us to usually perform a procedure that wouldn't be tolerated if the patient was fully conscious. What I want is to give you enough stuff that you're not unhappy with what we're doing to your leg. Okay. Ketamine is a very strong pain relief, but it's also a sedative, so the more you give, you can actually anaesthetise the patient. It's a very good drug. It's also a very dangerous drug. You happy with the numbers, Rich? Yeah, absolutely. Saturating 100% on that O2. So that's actually going to start to feel a wee bit funny just now, Max, all right? Good to go. Give it a shot, see how we go. To pull that straight and stop the bleeding is going to cause some discomfort, um, to say the least. With a fractured femur, one of the ways of minimising blood loss is to apply a splint, but with traction, so you need to pull the leg out to length. OK, 
Okay, ready, set, roll. Needs to come north. Yeah, that's right. Ready. Push it slide. Never got around. Oh, yeah, Pearl, how are you doing? Right, oh, I'm living the dream. Mate. Good man, good man. <laughs> so that's your leg now straight, and it's got a splint holding it, even though oh, it doesn't yes. feel that yeah. much. That's right, already. Yeah. Oh. Your big toes have said hello to each other for the first time in a while. Jesus. That was quite enjoyable. Was that? I was like <laughs> rolling and rolling. It's now a good time for a customer what? satisfaction survey. That leg's now in a good position. Right, OK. Oh, really? I'm going to take you back to Glasgow. I'm going to take you to Queen Elizabeth. You get it your job. I'll give you that. It's a bit strange seeing him back in the yard, so it is after so long not no, seeing him. I bet once he's back, full work in order. At the end of the day, no matter how frustrated yeah. I may feel, it's, it doesn't matter. There's a few inches difference on where that roll bar landed, and it would have been so much worse. Game over. I had about an hour of thinking, oh, this was really possibly rather close. <laughs> <laughs> 